How's everybody doing? Great. All right. I apologize. A lot of people complaining that the sun is too warm and too bright. I, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Welcome to AppSec California. Best conference venue you'll ever be at in your life. I want a big round for all the people that have shown up here today. Well, you guys. I want to, is Haral in the room? Stand up, Haral. Haral and I worked really hard, as did all our volunteers and planners, to bring this. This is our seventh or eighth, seventh year of doing this right here. So if you haven't been to the others, ah, there's still time to come in the future. Don't worry. Yeah. Hey, I have questions for you. Many of you in this room get this. So I looked all around the internet and I spoke to a lot of CISOs. I'm a former CISO. And what do they talk about, right? They talk about these issues that are happening for 2020 and have happened, of course, right? Hackers, spyware, ransomware, the expanding attack service, including the cloud, right? Um, where do you find the people to do the work? There is a shortage and it's gonna get worse, right? And we're gonna have a panel to talk about diversity later. More data protection rules. California, Europe have rules. And no doubt the federal government will eventually get something going, but that's gonna put an onus on all the people, all the CISOs. How are you gonna identify everyone's personal data? How are you gonna forget it? I mean, there's, there's systems that are in place in very few companies today to be able to do that. Security awareness, right? But what's missing from this list? All the people that are in there should know this. Anything related to software security. Where is that? Layer seven, wide open in so many companies, right? Big problems. So the SDLC, security's gotta be baked in from the beginning and at all the stages throughout. Companies need to shift left, right? We have DevOps, DevSecOps, it really needs to be that term. We should get rid of the term DevOps without the sec. And uh, this one, we probably know it just instinctively, but it's good to see that our friends at Ponyman say 80% of IoT and 71% of mobile apps aren't tested for security vulnerabilities. And you know how they come out of the box, right? Totally insecure. And so, you know, what's the world? What kind of world do we have? And what about third party risk? I talked to some CISOs and they go, well, we don't develop our own apps. I said, do you work with anyone who has apps that hosts for you or they develop for you? And almost all of them said, well, yeah. I said, well, are those, are your, is your data safe in those systems? Have you checked it? Do you even know what to check? Are they using secure lifecycle development? Uh, I don't know. So this is huge, and we've got to get the word out to companies, executives, that this is a huge problem. Related to this is privacy. We're losing our privacy. How many of you have heard of Clearview AI facial recognition? If you haven't, take a look at what that is, okay? instantaneously can identify people walking in the street based on scraping pictures from everywhere on the internet and building this huge mega database. So if you, you know, what happened in, in Egypt, right, where the people got together and then got rid of the government, none of that's gonna happen anymore. How? They'll identify the people going to those meetings and they'll arrest them all. Our country is at risk too. If the government has too much visibility, too much power, too much authority, it can get abused. We've seen examples of that. Google and, and University of Chicago use AI to predict medical events, and there's an unauthorized disclosure of people's HIPAA data. Amazon's Echo, okay, we've heard these stories, right? Listening to people's bedrooms to intimate conversations, that continues to grow. People still buy this stuff. By 2023, there'll be about 7.4 billion voice control devices sharing our data. Systematic facial recognition from doorbell cameras, right? So the, the police have combined with these manufacturers to help keep our neighborhoods safe and our people safe. But with that, it's a complete dossier of our lives and what we do, and that should be us, that should be private. I don't, you know, unless I'm under investigation for doing a lousy talk or doing something else, this should not be happening, right? I should have some sense that there's a basic privacy that I have, right? And IoT devices, well, a lot of them capturing things and sending them back to who knows where, plus they're so easily hacked. 
It's an entry point for all of us. So the question is, is there such a thing as privacy any longer? Are all these rules too late? Are all our data out there? Right? Well, there's still opportunities. And the bottom line is we need to protect our apps more now than ever before because of this environment that we're in today. Right? And a great deal of us in this room and in the room upstairs can have a major influence on that. Right? The folks that are developing, that are building systems, that are using templates, hopefully you're using OWASP tools, they're free and open source. Those of you who've come to this event, hopefully you're using OWASP and where you work, the same thing. Okay? Um, many of the talks that we're having in the next, the rest of today and tomorrow, deal with some of the things that I brought up. Ready? A lot of them are a little more technical and specialized, but they all have its underlying theme. That we've got to protect our privacy and our security. Speaking of OWASP, who is it? Who is OWASP? It's a global community that drives the visibility and evolution in the safety and security of the world's software. That's a mouthful, but bottom line is we're all free to participate and use the tools, and it's a free and open group of international chapters and project leaders around the world. I'm on the uh, OWASP Global Board. We have Vandana, stand up, please. We're calling you out. She just joined, she just got elected this year. Welcome. <clears throat> if you're not uh, a member, you should consider joining. It's a wonderful organization. Everyone's giving. All these tools, oh, and there's, come here you, young man. Perfect timing. This is Jeff, he's one of the founders of OWASP. Jeff Williams. So OWASP's core purpose be the thriving global community that drives visibility and evolution in the safety and security of the world software. Kind of what we all are touching and doing, right? So we're in alignment. Our core values at OWASP, open, innovative, global, and of course we hold integrity as one of the highest things that we can do, right? Hopefully you do that in your lives anyway, but OWASP makes a point of that. So how many have heard of the OWASP top 10? Okay, it's not the be-all, end-all, but it's the most famous and well-known. Um, it, it looks at risks, right? That's the key. It helps you identify the most common risks that we're encountering based on statistical data and information that we've gathered over the years. And that varies. Each couple of years, they come out with a different top 10. So at the very least, if your company's looking into that, and once they do, they'll want more OWASP, right? Uh, there's guidelines, checklists, there's currently over 100 projects worldwide. Um, can you help? Do you have a little free time to make a better world in the software development field? If you do, there's tons of projects that need your help, and you could start your own as well, right? So please consider giving a little time. How many people in this room volunteer for something, anything? Raise your hand if you're a volunteer for anything. Look at that. This is great. Everyone almost raised your hand. Love it. It's really important. So if you have a little more time, even though you're all already volunteering, <laughs> give yourselves an applause for that. I love that. That's, that's a wonderful number of people that's, that are doing that. So you can get involved. You can join a chapter. All right? We have a wonderful chapter here in LA, and we have Orange County, and you know, there's this chapter's worldwide, as I said. You can get involved in a project or a chapter. And uh, as I said, you can start your own project if you like. That's fine. Um, speaking of the board of directors, I introduced Vandana. I'm on the board. Uh, Gary's on the board. And uh, I'm, we have Martin, who's coming back for another term, and Sharif, the same, and Owen. And lastly, Grant is brand new as well. So we're heavy in the British Isles and in Ireland. So um, hopefully we'll be well represented. So a little bit about what you're gonna experience today and tomorrow. All these chapters got together, including a brand new one in the San Fernando Valley. So if you live up there, you don't have to come over the hill and come to the, the best chapter, I mean, come to the LA chapter. <laughs> Sorry, Haral. Uh, so you have your choice. If you're anywhere in this area, you can attend meetings, and uh, I ask you to do that. Planners, okay, to put all of this on, right, we're not paying someone to plan this conference. We're doing it ourselves. 
So this is a lot of work. A lot of what you're experiencing, you won't notice all the work that goes in. But believe me, months and months of activities, over a hundred individual tasks had to be done by 40 people. And some of the tasks were quite extensive, like reviewing a hundred submissions to be, well, how many, actually, how many were there? Talks. 132 talk submissions. Someone's got to read all of those, right? So we had a wonderful team doing that, all types of, of things, right? So this group of people really did an incredible job this year. I want to thank them. And if you're on that list, feel proud, because what we're all experiencing today and tomorrow is just going to be off the charts. It's going to be great. So thank you to our planners. Volunteers are the folks that are here today wearing the purple shirts, guiding you around, helping everybody, checking you in, making sure the rooms are right and where everything's working. A really nice group of people. They've been here also the last two days where we had training. If you didn't get any training classes and maybe you didn't know about them, next year coming to these, these classes are world-renowned uh, trainers come here to give you a great education. And we have some great sponsors that have stepped up and helped support us so we can get you guys really nice food. So why don't, how about a round of applause for our sponsors? There are more also gold sponsors. So at lunchtime, the vendor expo will be open down by the pool where you got, most of you had breakfast. You can go down there and talk to them about solutions, about strategies and how they might be able to help you and you can learn some good stuff from them. And here are more. Look at all the sponsors we had. I think the word's getting out that this is the conference to be at. What do you guys think? All right. Um, for those of you who are here for the first time, this is a site with several buildings, right? We're utilizing three of them today, which is the whole site. Uh, here's the floor plan. You have this in your bag, okay? So we are where the, um, near where the arrow is in the event house. We're in the blue one in the middle, right? Over here. We're in the garden terrace room. So upstairs, that direction, is the sand and sea room, of, right? So second floor. And that way is the guest house. All right, so there's three rooms in this building. There's, there's a couple of rooms in that building, and we're using both floors. And I'll get into that later. And then the sand and sea room upstairs. So we'll keep you very busy. We have four concurrent sessions each day. All right, so you have a lot to choose from. You know, it's the problems that we like to have. And, but, there's relief because you can watch all the videos of every single talk at your leisure in a few weeks, okay? So if you miss something, that's all right. There's nothing like live, but still, you know, we, we, it's, it's worth the money so you guys can, can see some of these great talks. Um, there's a mobile schedule. We're using a, an, a, an app called Sched, S-C-H-E-D. Just download that app. It makes it... A, Really easy. For those of you who went to the website, you know, all those nice colors and shows you where the, the talks are, you can use that. Uh, there are three types of talks to kind of guide you through when they're color-coded. Build it, break it, and protect it. So based on what you do for work or want to do or hobby or if you want to be sinister, whatever you'd like, you can choose. And um, there's, there's a full schedule at registration, a big printed sign, and there's also one downstairs just in case you know, your connectivity is bad or you're, you just like signs, if you're old-fashioned. There might be three of you here. So if you have any problems, ask the folks wearing this. That's purple. I think you can all make that out, right? So a purple t-shirt means, oh, I got a question. Can you help me? Or if you're lost or if there's something, whatever you want. Or if you want to give some positive feedback. God, that opening talk was not bad. So please, feel free to approach these folks. They're here to help. And we have some special events I wanted to make you aware of. And who likes CTFs? Okay, test your knowledge, get some experience. In the guest house right over there, there's a CTF uh, today and tomorrow on the ground floor. There's also an IoT village. So if you wanna learn a little bit about that, we got Aaron Guzman over there. He's a renowned 
in the field of IoT. So there are two rooms on the first floor. You can go and enjoy yourself. The CTF will have prizes at the end of the competition tomorrow. That'll be re uh, awarded. So you can go there for fun or for gain. But you'll gain no matter what you do. Uh, there's also this year something new, a career fair and Raise Me. Anyone go to ShellCon this year? So you'll know what Raise Me is. It's all about helping you with your career. There's uh, workshops, um, help people help you with your resume. There are discussions of, of what you can do, how do you market yourself, how to best situate yourself for your career. So that's going to be upstairs in the guest house across the way. The guest house is the beautiful old building. Okay. So consider going up there. That starts today about 2.10, I believe. And there's a few talks as well. Um, there's a vendor expo, as I mentioned. It starts at lunch downstairs by the pool. And we have several breaks throughout today and tomorrow, so you can interact. And um, yes, of course, at the end of our conference, it's a frenzy of gifts that you could win. So stick around a full day tomorrow. I know you want to beat traffic, but new camera, traffic, you decide. <laughs> and tonight, stick around tonight too. Hopefully you didn't make plans or make sure you looked at the schedule, but we got a party down by the pool tonight, food and drinks under the stars, make new friends. It's, it's a wonderful experience, one of the best parties. And you can eat and drink, of course, as I said. And I mentioned the, the frenzy tomorrow afternoon. Um, there is a bingo card that's in your bag. And for those of you who haven't gone to a conference before, every vendor has a box and every vendor has a stamp. If you go over downstairs and visit every vendor and have them stamp, you can then put your, don't forget to put your name on the bingo card, bring it back to registration, and we'll have a drawing tomorrow at the end. And we'll have, you know, you can make some cool cash. Uh, for the bingo cards, because you did all this hard work, you don't have to be present. So you just drop the bingo card and go to sleep on the beach. Um, there is a post-conference survey. You know, you've been to conferences where they put it on your chair, but we don't believe in paper, right? So please, please, it could help us, right? Because as planners, we think we're putting on the best show we can for you, but you all probably have ideas how we can improve, right? Shorter opening talk different, something different, the food, whatever you want or don't want, please, you know, help us out. Fill out that survey. And then you can win, of course, right? We, we, we a little carrot hanging there for you. Um, and yes, so the raffle drawings start tomorrow afternoon. And for those, you have to be present. So you got some options. As I said, we're, we're videotaping everything. There'll be photographers, you know, bopping around all day and tomorrow. Um, on our site, when you registered, there was an acknowledgement to the fact that you might show up. Our apologies if you're very, very private. Um, but we don't sell this. We just put it on our site so people can see and enjoy the view. So my apologies for those of you who didn't want to be photographed, but hopefully you will understand. We also have a very strict code of conduct. People have to respect each other here, okay? No shenanigans no use of, of, of bad language directed at someone. Consider that this, uh, there's a sensitivity that some people have that you might not about something. So sp think before you speak. We're all here to learn and make new friends, okay? If someone has offended you in a way that you think is inappropriate, find a purple shirt person and we will address it, okay? We have a zero tolerance policy, as does OWASP. Thank you and network and share and enjoy.